Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is a special tarot reading today for the new moon full solar eclipse in Pisces, which will be happening at 19 degrees on Tuesday, March 8th, 2016 at 8.55 p.m. That is Eastern Standard Time. If you are in another time zone, check uh, one of the world calculators that's on the internet that to see when it happens in your area. Now, you know, this is very interesting because one of the first things that came to mind and one of the reasons that I mentioned the degrees is that last year, okay, we had another eclipse in this series, okay, which was Pisces, but it was at 29 degrees at that very last degree. Mm. It was the end. The end. The messages that you received were like, this has to stop, this is done, this is over, you can't go on like this, all right? So, so many of you have spent the last year trying to figure out which way to go. How do you get there? How do you even achieve this, all right? So, there's been a lot of coming to terms with what must end. So, this one seems a little anticlimactic to me, you know, like it's, it's not so powerful and overwhelming at this point it's really probably almost welcome okay i don't know how else to put it it's like finally let's just get it done all right that kind of a thing here but now let's see what we have here because there's been so much sorting out you know of your reality uh, so many of you have not been able to sleep well at night um I'm afraid I hear it way too much. You know, there's just so much going on. It, it feels like battling demons and, you know, losing at some point. But the reality is, is that you've made it this far. And truthfully, you've won. It's just that it's a little bit sad at the moment, you know, with, you know, thinking about it. But, you know, finally, there's that shift taking place where, you know, the stars, the universe, it's all coming in to just wash all that pain away. Is that possible? You know, one of the things I want to talk about here, because I hear it so much all the time, is that, you know, there's all this fear. Everyone has fear of, like, this eclipse last year brought to, like, this must end. And, you know, it kind of really didn't, all right? It's still there. It's still hanging over your head. But what's also hanging over your head is that fear. What will replace when this is no longer here? Trust me, something is going to come in. Something wonderful is going to come in, in all honesty. You know, life always does start anew. And endings and beginnings, they are sort of blended together. All right? Kind of can't have one without the other. Remember that. These are our tough lessons in life. However, you know, you're able to create for yourself. Now, don't deceive yourself when you're doing this. This is where this, you know, reality check comes in. Make sure that the new life that you're working on creating is one which will stand the test of some time. All right? Because it kind of has to last you for a long while. It's not to say that things won't change along the way. Relationships won't change along the way. A lot of things will happen but you need something good and solid to go forth with from this point. So make sure you're not fooling yourself with what you're doing, all right? Very important. Now, you're also going to find that, you know, with this particular new moon, that it is, oh, it's a full eclipse, all right? I think it's finally trying to bring about that ending. That horrible ending that came in last year. All right. So it's a full eclipse this year. I think it wants to take out the remainder of that pain and get rid of it for you once and for all in 2016. So this is what you need. So there's someone coming into your life who's going to help you with this. Could be anyone. But for many of you, it's doctors, it's lawyers, it's realtors helping you move. It's, you know, people, um, you know, just being there supportive and giving advice. There's a lot of things going on, but there's someone who's helping you get through this. And it's a good relationship that's coming your way. So keep that in mind. Now, this has been a very tiring 
and trying time for many of you. Like I said, it's very painful and it just, you know, some big separations have taken place. But in reality, the, the separation part has already happened because it happened in the first half of last year, if not before. If not, for some of you, it goes back to really started, you were getting pushed starting around August of 2014, okay? And I could keep on going back and talk about the different stories and the, the different chapters that everyone's been through. But, you know, this one is an important one because you're finally going to see coming to fruition the things that you're trying to, to get going. You are working on moving on and having a new beginning. But for some reason, so many of you haven't been able to make it happen. And, you know, people have asked me this, and I am not a believer in that saying that everything happens for a reason, because I, I just can't accept that. However, I do feel that there is a reason with the way things have been going on for so many of you at the moment, and a lot of it has to do with divine timing. And that's a totally different thing. It's not, you know, trying to justify something bad happening. This is like, you know, why have you had to wait when you thought you were on the right track back here? I think for a lot of you in like October. And it just seemed like it took a little bit longer to, you know, keep plugging away at it to get it going. But you did. And you're going to get to this solar eclipse. And you're going to find that things are going to start to get easier at some point. They will get easier. You will be able to move forward. Like I said, you're going to get this far, you're going to be kind of tired. All right. You know, many of you have felt, you know, betrayed by others, by the universe, wondering what in the world is going on. But you're going to experience this sort of rebirth, you know, uh, especially for some of you with love, trying to have some fun again. That part, it really isn't coming in yet when I talk about timing, it's not quite time for that, okay? Because I think what's necessary here is that getting everything else together, everything else right about your life that you know you would like to have right, because it sets you up to be in a really good relationship further on down the line. So I certainly hope that we're talking about this at another time. I feel like September We'll be talking about this for many of you, and you'll be on your way to that good relationship before then. But I know it, it means a lot to many of you to hear that. Now, new beginnings, all right? New beginnings that have come through hard work. I'm sorry, I'm banging my hand on the table. I have a tendency to do that when I get a little emphatic. But new beginnings that come through hard work, but you have to realize that, you know, you will receive the rewards of this work, but, you know, there have been losses incurred and it's okay. All right. It's like, I, sometimes I just have to say like, suck it up. It's so hard to do. It really truly is. But you've got this. You know, I mean, you, you have to, like, if you could see what I'm looking at, you say, look how far you've come. You've got this now. You've been through the hard part. The hard part was long ago. This winding it up, you know, anxiety is a silly thing because it, it's not necessary. When you finish this up, you're going to feel so much better because your life is going to be yours and you can work on it again and rebuild it. And it's going to be almost magical in a way where you're going to want to celebrate, I think. And, you know, this finally getting to the heart of the matter and being able to cut yourself loose from it all. I love it. I absolutely love it. It will happen. And like I said, I feel like this particular eclipse is the one that really helps you do it. I mean, there are a total of four this year that I'm aware of. And, you know, this one, like I said, it's it's coming in to give you some closure with what was going on last year. I really feel that that's how it's going to work out for you. So then you're going to be starting, you know, I see here a new phase, a new chapter, you know, responsibilities. They will change, okay? Because some of the things you've just gotten rid of them and you no longer have to worry about them. So you're going to come through this and you're going to be a lot wiser about a lot of things. And you're going to learn to look to the future, all right? Not just the future, but in um, 
in thinking of life as a business and running your life better. Hmm, that's interesting. So you won't be just jumping into things. Like in the past, if you were someone who kind of just said, oh yeah, I think I'll do that, you know? I think you'll, you'll think it over a little bit more, you know, because you have learned some lessons along the way. It's like the universe has been trying to teach you and you've been a good student, finally. And I say finally, because many of us, we have to repeat the same lessons over and over again in relationships and whatever. And finally, there's one that ends a certain way. And then we go, uh -huh. oh, I think I got it, you know? Now I'm ready. So to be able to move on from the hard times, this is a good thing. I'm kind of liking what this is eclipse, you know, this eclipse is about. I really, truly do. So, hmm. The, the power and the strength to break free from the chains, okay? Oh, my goodness. Well, first of all, the things that have happened to you, even if technically someone else was to blame, there, there just is no blame here. Just leave it be, all right? If you're going to sit and have conversations with yourself about what happened and try to blame another party... You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get to your future. You need to just, you know, let that go, cut it loose, and free yourself from it because it's right here. This eclipse is setting you up for the future that you really need, and it will be a more stable one. And here we are at that point. I want to put down a few more cards and see what, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when I go back and listen to this, because I don't usually listen to them again, is that when, at the beginning, I hope I did not say full, it is a full solar eclipse in Pisces, okay? Which means it comes at the new moon. Let's be clear on that, just in case something came out of my mouth and I missed a word. I don't want to have to redo all this, because I really like this reading. So, interesting indeed. You know, once you take care of all of the details, and you're free to go, all right? That's just it. Wow, that gave me the chills. It's amazing. You will be free to go and you're on your road to recovery. You're on your way to happiness and you're on your way to fulfilling your wishes. And I want to say that after June, and I've mentioned June so many times, you're going to be able, let's see, oh my gosh, those chills won't go away. You know, fulfillment of wishes is, is something that's hard to comprehend because right now, I don't think you know what it is that you want. I don't think you know what it is that's coming. I just think it's going to feel really, really good. Keep that in mind. You have some work left to do, but there's some awesomeness coming in your life later on this year. And you're going to be able to choose. That's what's important. And this time when you choose, you will have gained so much wisdom from this past awful experience. I can't take it away for you can't take it away for anyone, but it's there, and you're never going that way again. We've already discussed that before, you know, and that was back in October. X marks the spot. No. There's no going back after that. So, mm -mm. it's time to go forward. It's time to finish up, and it's time to take care of those details. And I'm telling you, there, there's a new life coming. And it's coming between June and September. Keep that in mind. Very, very nice. I want to stop there. And I want to thank you all for listening. And I can't wait to hear all of your solar eclipse experiences. And maybe if everybody really likes this and you ask, maybe I'll do it again. We'll see. I'm going to do one for the... Um, lunar eclipse at the full moon, which will be in Libra. Okay, so thank you all and take care.